this is day three of the making of the fan, and we're at Douglas Park Weir. We've got a number of locations to go to after this, so stay tuned and uh, we'll see what we do. Just think, just have, why don't you just have it so it's locked? We pack big books. Uh, but that would be dangerous. Why is that? Because then you've got to back into uh, traffic coming down. My life is at stake here. It's moments like this that I'm glad Gra's got a four wheel drive because I was actually very surprised about the quality and quantity of the sand actually around the, the weir. Although the water here doesn't seem like it's very deep and flowing rapidly, at some stages it must have been bashing up against the soft sandstone rocks, which I don't think there's a lot of anymore, and creating all that sand. And as you can see, there are deep little channels throughout the, uh, the river here. Oh, this thing, I wish it would lock, just stay. <laughs> I walked to the far edge of the bridge to get a shot of the underside of the weir and had to negotiate the concrete fishway before I could get a good shot. Go on the other side of me and video video me from the other angle. What we'll do now is I'll set up that this camera on the tripod and have us both in the same picture. Yeah. You can tell on the winding road that we came down to the bridge and where that we actually came down from the same height as this bridge here, which is the actual Hume motorway. There's a lot of cars parked there and they would be because from this area down to the Menangle Weir a lot of people do it for kayaking and actually uh, canoeing as well so it's a very strong leisure sport along the river. Nepean River, an angle bridge. This is where we've got to stop. This is where we've got to stop. Oh dear. Okay, blinkers on. Oh, 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 stopping. Oh, 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 wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow. I got, yeah, I got a little red dot in the middle in the screen. There are two bridges here, one for northbound traffic and one for southbound. We're on the southbound side and as you can see there's no pedestrian footpath. So it was a little bit tricky and uh, we, we took it very carefully. I follow Graham at a safe distance, trying to film him as well as the traffic. I was surprised of the strong odour coming off the hot tyres it was rather stifling. With such a restricted view here, we finished up quickly and headed off to the next location. And I think, I think it's the one at Wilson that decided that he going to be Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Right. It doesn't have this big wide gap, you see. Yeah. It only has a very small one like this, and I'm not walking that close. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay, here we go. And Time to go. Why does it do that, Graham? Why does it all just go down? I don't know. 
Oh, truck coming. <laughs> feel that power. He's changing lanes because he doesn't think we're going to be going fast enough. Oh. Into the camera's not pointing back. You're going to send this truck up my pocket. All I want you to do is, is have me come, come on the side of the screen and off the screen. I don't want you to move it too much. You can move it a little bit. Move it. Follow me until you're looking at the trees and let me disappear. So, I'll be, I'll be here, right? No worries, mate. Well, I'm, I'm recording anyway, sir. So. Have you got me all in it? You got my feet? No. Well, I'll... A little bit of headroom. A little bit of dirt. You got both. Okay. Menangle River Reserve starts here at the bridge and uh, goes upstream mm. as far as the weir, which we'll visit shortly. As a cameraman, I found it very difficult to uh, follow Graham to, to actually capture what he was doing because when I get him into focus, there was another seemingly bend and he would go out of focus again. Whose is it? I don't know, I found it on the road. <laughs> After leaving the bridge, we walked along the eastern side of the river to the picnic area and a nice little beach that we're sure people have spent many a, many a sunny day leaping into the water. It was a bit tricky walking down though, uh, the track was reasonably well trodden but very rough and uh, this is the beach Keep going. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. 
enough. Whilst this part of the actual walk to the weir looks very smooth and easy to manage, very soon it peters out to a rather rough, unhewn track. After coming from the Douglas Park Weir and seeing what was sort of a trickle going over the weir down the Nepean and coming to the Menangle Weir, the actual volume was unbelievable. What I loved about the, the area was the ambience. I mean, the, it was just beautiful. It was so rugged in areas, but the Sydney water had done a, a job of actually creating a beautiful area of, of a cat, water catchment. Yes, it really did look good. It's possible that the extra water you're talking about, okay, Jeffrey, come back. is uh, water coming from the Cataract River that joins the Nepean further upstream. We will visit the junction of the Cataract and Nepean Rivers in day four. I look forward to that, Graham. Yeah, very nice.